Hi there, Capricorn. Thank you so much for tuning in. Love and light to all here. We are with your general August 2018 reading. The Capricorn August 2018 reading. And we'll uh, get right on with it for you, dear Capricorn. Right here, I was meditating on your energy for a turn on the camera. And I was uh, hearing for you from, from uh, start to end. I'm hearing from top to bottom. Um, from finish to finish. And... You are coming through with the Father of Pentacles, okay? The Five of Pentacles as well, right beneath the Father of Pentacles. The Father of Pentacles is looking over at the Ten of Pentacles. That sits in reverse, right over the Ten of Wands, both sitting at the apex of your reading. The Moon coming through, the card of Scorpio and the Major Arcana, the Five of Wands in reverse, okay? Sitting just beneath the Moon. Uh, you got two Tens, a Five. I'm hearing specifically... Capricorn, I'm hearing Scorpio as well. You're situating yourself. Um, I'm hearing in, in, in a way that is uh, destined for success, I'm hearing. And you got the Ten of Cups coming through as well here, horizontally laid. Uh, mirroring you, the Father of Cups, right over the Son of Cups. The Eight of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles. I'm hearing Sagittarius and Aries here with the Eight of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles, wherever it is, let's say those two archetypes may sit in your very personal growth chart. You've got the Hermit as well, Card of Virgo, right over the Three of Wands. Okay, uh, I'm hearing Scorpio again, related to the Three of Wands. If there's a vision that you hold, uh, Capricorn, you are so set on it. Okay, and it's like the Four of Cups falling out onto my lap. Um, the Four of Pentacles in reverse, the Daughter of uh, Wands, right, both upside down though, in the top right hand corner of your spread, uh, Capricorn, it's like there's something that you, I'm hearing again, from edge to edge, it's like Seven of Pentacles falling on the ground, there's this feeling of like, if, if I'm going to wash my car, it's like I'm going to wash the interior um, and exterior. I'm hearing of, of all my wheels, whatever that may be in particular for you, the two of pentacles in reverse. It's like I'm seeing you like completely. I'm hearing windshield wiping, a surface. I'm hearing uh, that you've been working off of, whatever that may be in particular for you, the eight of wands of right, and there's a re restructuring. I'm hearing again, restructuring, reorganizing of uh, the variables that you feel um, maybe related, okay, and it's like, you're, if, if, if there are a number of individuals involved, you're getting super clear, the magician here in reverse, mirroring the Father of Pentacles, uh, you're, you're getting super clear on what I'm hearing the ins and outs are of every sort of, um, I'm hearing um, uh, mission, whatever the meaning particular for you, uh, perhaps related to um, uh, I'm getting it as like a community, okay? The death card of right, mirroring the mother of wands in reverse, the temperance card in reverse, and act up in between these two, and you pick up the seven of pentacles here. As you lead out with the spread, the mother of cups at the base of this spread, the emperor of right, perpendicular to the mother of cups, the father of swords uh, sits in the past, uh, right beneath here, the four of cups, the star sits in reverse. There are maybe may have been a decision that was made. There is clarity as I'm getting it right around, let's say the tail end of July, and I'm filming this on the, uh, it is the 27th of July, okay? Uh, you have the death card though, the card of Scorpio, the major arcana who looks back at the magician, who looks back into um, the, I'm hearing at the conversation, and if this is an individual, it's like you're getting it as like, they're reviewing, I'm hearing revisiting, re, re, um, repeating, I'm hearing specifically certain uh, conversations, okay, you may be dealing with an Aries as well, the, the uh, let us pull a culture across for you, Capricorn, and see what comes through here, Sagittarius, strongly, maybe dealing with a Sagittarius, again, maybe your very own energy, and you do have both cards that speak to Sagittarius, the Temperance card in reverse, and the Magician in reverse, okay, let us um, pull a culture across here for you. Capricorn and see what comes through here. Okay. I'm hearing how many bites does it take to get to the center of a, of a Tootsie Pop? Okay, whatever that may mean in particular for you. Uh, the death card coming through again with the mother of wands again. Mother of wands is in reverse. Seven of cups is horizontally laid on the right hand uh, side of uh, I'm hearing the mountain peak, whatever that may mean in particular for you. Six of pentacles of right, seven of wands in reverse. Mirroring the seven of cups, okay. It was Pisces, I believe, who 
hold three sevens in a row. Um, I believe it was Pisces. Okay, to take it as you will. Um, it just caught sight of the High Priestess here in the stack. Okay, the Fool, the Ace of Swords, the Son of Cups. The Son of Cups right over the Daughter of Wands, mirroring the Fool, the Four of Pentacles in reverse. I'm here, we're remaking, we're remaking the buttons on the, on the shirt, whatever that may mean in particular for you. Nine of Swords upright and the Mother Pentacles upright. There um, is the Ace of Swords as well, the two of, two of Cups, I said, but the Two of Pentacles here again in reverse in the same position. There is a focus, and the Fool's looking over at the Two of Pentacles. There's a focus on what we're coming out with, how we're coming out with it and there may be a certain revision process that may be underway i'm hearing how do we untie our shoelaces the four of cups it may be uh, referring to an, a sort of dynamic that is emotional i'm hearing um uh, uh i'm hearing egg eggshell it's like there may be focus on ma matters of vulnerability here okay being alluded to the Daughter of Cups. I'm hearing makeup, makeup on her face, whatever you need to for you. Three of Pentacles sits in reverse, mirroring the Two of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles is right over the Sun of Pentacles. The Two of Wands in reverse, right beneath the Sun of Pentacles, mirroring the Three of Pentacles. There's a focus on, um, I'm hearing how we translate the message that we are making our way home with. It's like, what? And you've got the Ace of Swords at the apex of your reading, Capricorn. The Ten of, Pen Ten of Swords mirroring the Ace of Swords. Two of Cups smacked up in between the Ace of Swords and the Ten of Swords. Right beneath here, the Son of Wands. Okay, we are making, uh, I'm hearing a way for um, the conversation uh, with the Hanged Man in reverse, the High Priestess in reverse. There is a focus perhaps on the Piscean archetype. You may be dealing with the Pisces. The I'm hearing Capricorn Scorpio here, and I'm hearing Cancer as well. The Moon coming through. Uh, the card of Scorpio, the Major Arcana, also associated with uh, I'm hearing Pisces, uh, but Cancer. Take it as you will. The Empress, the World. Okay, <clears throat> Three of Swords in reverse, mirroring the Empress. Okay, this is a. Uh, this is not the Celtic cross, but this is uh, right, what sort of wants to come through. We'll heed that. And the Father of Wands is mirroring the Two of Swords. Two of Swords is right over the Wheel of Fortune. We're making a major shift. I'm hearing uh, Capricorn. You have the Empress in reverse that mirrors the Three of Swords in reverse. The world upright. It was, I believe, Pisces that pulled the world. Okay. Nonetheless, um, uh, Capricorn. The feeling I'm getting is that there's a focus on a new beginning. Absolutely. There is perhaps a conversation that surrounds matters that are, um, I'm getting it as like uh, con conversational. It's like, how is it that we're also perhaps strategically laying a certain, um, uh, I'm hearing ground for, for communication. I'm getting, uh, I'm hearing money management. I'm hearing resources. There perhaps is a focus as well, again, on vulnerability, or you may be dealing as well with an Aries. Take it as you will. Let us see what comes through for you, Capricorn. Here, we'll pull uh, the Celtic cross and see um, what comes through. I'm hearing making our way back home. I'm hearing Heather, the daughter of Cups, whatever that may be in particular for you, the Four of Wands. This is something that is... I'm hearing Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, uh, Capricorn, that you have been long awaiting, I'm hearing, for the ship to sail uh, into into the bay as whatever that may be in particular for you. And it's like the minute that I that I am hearing I I, I catch word of, I'm hearing I, I I get I catch the signal, I'm hearing also grant the signal, whatever that may be in particular for you. It's like I'm I'm gonna I'm hearing I'm gonna start waving, I'm hearing uh, my, my feathers, I'm hearing my flag as well, whatever that may be in particular for you, judgment here at the base of this town wand. I'm sort of feeling I'm like, I have this vision of me, Capricorn, of like standing on this, um, on this, uh, sort of this dock, and seeing it as like a bay, and it's like I'm seeing you like, I'm waiting, I'm waiting for that one ship to come in. I'm hearing receiver, receiver on end, whatever that may be in particular for you. The chariot in reverse, the death card of right, the mother of wands in reverse. Mother of wands is mirroring the chariot. You may be dealing with the cancer, you may be dealing with the fire sign as well. You may be dealing with the Scorpio. The Ace of Swords wants to come out. It's like I'm hearing on thick paper the Ace of Swords. Uh, you may be dealing with matters that are strategic, legal, the Sun of Swords, maybe legal, absolutely, maybe dealing with um, 
perhaps a lawyer, okay? The father of pentacles, the ten of pentacles again coming through. This is, I'm hearing your show. I'm hearing your game. I'm hearing that you want to play with your assets. Eight of pentacles here. Upright, Capricorn. Um, and it's mirroring here, the four of swords, okay? I'm back into, uh, I'm hearing wheelbarrow, four of pentacles. The eight of pentacles and the four of pentacles mirroring one another here, okay? Uh, you're not playing games, Capricorn, any longer. It's like, if, if I was, like, uh, I'm hearing wasting my ink, I'm hearing my pen, my paper, my gas on, uh, I'm hearing storylines, a uh, hood, I'm hearing the past, I'm hearing from the past as well, whatever the main meaning in particular for you, the moon right next to the hanged man, the four of cups, there is, uh, a, um, uh, a, a, uh, mother of cups coming through. Rose, sticky with the nine of wands, mirroring the seven of pentacles. Um, <clears throat> you're very part of the major arcana, dear Capricorn, the devil coming through. There's a feeling of like, I'm tightening my belt. Okay, sort of feeling. It's like, I don't want to just, I'm hearing ring around the rosy, three of cups, mirroring the devil. Uh, I'm getting that you're, you're opening, uh, I'm hearing your your mind to the possibilities, the seven of cups in reverse, right beneath the justice card upright, whatever that archetype may mean for you, Capricorn. The feeling I'm getting is like you are now seeing and hearing what has been uh, uh, confusing in the past, okay, to, to a certain point, the daughter of cups in reverse, mirroring the, uh, I'm hearing Aries here, the fool, but Aquarius, the card of Aquarius, the major arcana, seven of cups, right on top of the uh, fool. The Mother of Pentacles right next to the Daughter of Cups in reverse. And you're, we're making room, Five of Pentacles. There is perhaps a focus on, I'm hearing left and right, uh, up and down. Sorry about that, Capricorn, okay. Um, and there is a focus, yet again, I'm seeing you like, like I'm hearing tightening, tightening the bells, I'm hearing and whistles on that ship. Uh, that are going to sail. I'm hearing specifically the Father of Cups moving into this future position of the of the. I'm hearing new moon, whatever that may mean, particularly for you. But the the period of let's say September, early September. Uh, now let us let us uh, let us pull the Celtic cross and see what comes We'll pull um, cards leading in from the full moon in Aquarius at the tail end of, uh, of July, which is right around the time that I'm filming this. Okay. Uh, all right, Capricorn. Leading up into, let's say the mid part of August. hearing messenger, the messenger, blowing a whistle here with the mother of swords in reverse. I'm hearing don't shoot the messenger, whatever the minion may be for you. There's perhaps a focus on communication, okay? I'm hearing dynamic communication. It's like almost like what is communicated is perhaps, uh, be it on behalf of that or another, uh, is not necessarily like just I'm hearing on, on, I'm hearing ink and paper. I'm hearing, uh, paper, I'm hearing paper and pen, whatever that may be particular for you, the fool again coming through, the moon, okay, again coming through, the mother of wands as well, coming through again to your Capricorn. You have a card here of uh, Scorpio, uh, the card of Aquarius, let us pull in the tower here, mirroring the fool, there's a new beginning that, you, that is being alluded to, let us though, again, pull the cards for the uh, tail end of, uh, of July, leading into the beginning of Capricorn. Yeah, okay. Now you've got the Ace of Swords upright that you lead into the mid part of this month 
with, you have the Three of Cups in reverse that sits just before this Ace of Swords, the Ten of Cups in reverse that mirrors the Ace of Swords right before that's the Three of Cups. You have what you lead out with here is the Ace of Wands upright, right over the High Priestess in reverse, the lovers in your theme flying out into the Ace of Wands and the High Priestess, the Son of Cups, I'm hearing at a distance. Uh, I'm hearing Wedlock, Sherlock with the High Priestess here, the Son of Cups upright and the Hanged Man in sitting just beneath the lovers okay uh, we're making room for a major conversation I'm hearing we're going to to I'm hearing talk about it I'm hearing and take the conversation all the way home whatever that may mean particular for you there is a focus on uh, it's like there are so many laces on to this shoe whatever that may mean particular for you it's like and there are an endless number of ways that I can tie them what in a certain way is the um, the clarity of the intention that I wish to communicate. There's a focus here on absolute clarity. Caterhorn, in the middle of the month, I'm getting it. It's like you, you, you have a, um, I'm hearing an absolute vision, perception of what you, um, it's like this. It's like yes, this is the script. I'm hearing yes, this is the this is the manuscript. I'm hearing for number two, yes, this is the contract. Yes, and um, at the at the same time though, there's a focus on the again the dynamism of that of that conversation. And it's like okay, even if let's say I've meditated on it, I'm hearing it perhaps in a private way, and I've sort of come to this point of clarity. How is it that I am to to communicate that? And there's a focus on action as well. I'm hearing fortune telling here, whatever the meaning particular for you with the Ace of Wands and the High Priestess. Um, there being a focus on, I'm hearing time lag, vision. What is to sort of, it's like, if this is what I speak, then what is the sort of action that precedes that sort of feeling? It's like, if I'm going to say this, what's the audience reaction going to be? And there's a focus on, again, communication, but moving in tandem with matters that are, let's say, inherently physical or also, I'm hearing reciprocal. It's like, again, cause and effect sort of feeling as I may perceive. Now, lead into this period with the, st the star in reverse, mirroring the six of pentacles upright, the daughter of pentacles in reverse, smacked up in between these two, you're preparing for, I'm hearing the, the conversation, I'm hearing again for a number of you, you're preparing for what feels to be like, uh, like I'm on the roller coaster of, 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 of communication, whatever that means, you're talking about for a number of you, it's like when I open, I'm hearing this box, uh, how is Jack going to jingle his way out, whatever that may mean in particular for you, <laughs> Scorpio, I'm hearing Scorpio, Sagittarius strongly here as well, the daughter of wands, there may be a focus on this archetype for you, and you had the magician mirroring the father of pentacles in the previous spread, so whatever that may mean in particular for you, um, uh, the magician, right, magician mirroring the father of pentacles, now there are is preparation though yet again there is the vision yet again there and let's say right around the full moon in aquarius period um again tail end of uh july leading up into the beginning of august there seems to have been a uh i'm hearing a a uh i'm hearing a s sort of like progression of um of of uh of, of emotion specifically that you feel for creating what it is that you do for stepping into the next stage that you are yet again preparing to move into and I'm getting it as like it's a chrysalis sort of effect Capricorn it speaks to what it is that you um, not only I'm sorry about that Capricorn okay uh, the, the computer died so it, sorry, it uh, stopped recording there so I'm recording it on another device now uh, we were saying what it is that you not only, let's say, uh, resonate with, that you, let's say, uh, have found clarity with on a personal, private sort of level, but what it is that you uh, want in a certain way to apply this understanding as, again, in a performative way, in a public way, in a creative way, in a dynamic way. Um, and the sort of feeling is like, this is my mission statement. Now, what is, what is, I'm hearing the performance in and of itself. Um, okay, now the seven of wands again in reverse, mirroring the eight of swords, right? You got six, seven, eight, a sequence here at the very base, the underpinning of your spread leading up into the ace of swords. You are making matters, I'm hearing, uh, of, of exclusivity clear and it's like what does what does it mean to feel independent in my work I'm hearing as well for a number of you what does it mean to feel that I uh, can um, I'm hearing swim through the experience what does it mean in a certain way to feel that what it is that I am creating is uh, is I'm hearing uh, um, 
personable I'm getting for a number of you, but also um, I'm getting it as like authentic. And it's like, in a certain way, it's like, baby bird's got a bat its wings. It's like, I, I'm hearing, I, I am a baby, I'm hearing, and, and what does that mean to, to feel reborn? And um, in, that, in that space of sort of uh, discovering that um, uh, mode of self-expression that you feel you resonate most with Capricorn, the feeling I'm getting is that um, you, you, you find so many voices that you want in a certain way to incorporate in your self-expression. And the sort of feeling is like, yet again, it's like dynamism. I'm hearing specifically holds the key, the assets to this new beginning. You got the daughter of wands mirroring the fool. The fool is looking over the daughter of wands, and the fool is also mirroring the mother of wands. There's a focus on how it is I'm hearing yet again you communicate, but not only in a way of like, okay, well, I'm going to print it out, I'm hearing and, and stamp it, I'm hearing and label it, but uh, how is it that what it is that is being communicated, and you have the seven of swords right next to the daughter of wands, uh, is um, and leaves room for the dynamism of the experience to live itself through. So very exciting into the lovers. There's um, a focus here as well, Capricorn, on matters of, I'm hearing translocation, I'm getting also tr transformation, and you have here the tower that mirrors here the lovers, um, diagonal to the ace of wands upright and the high priestess in reverse. Whatever it is you're doing, Capricorn, you, you have been waiting for this moment, okay? And it's um, the two of cups here in reverse, right at the base of the stack, mirroring the lovers, sun of pentacles upright, right above the two of uh, cups in reverse. You've been preparing. It could be also financial, financial preparation for physical as well. Uh, nine of pentacles here, mirroring the sun of pentacles. What feels to be like a, um, a, a release, okay? A point of uh, also, um, I'm getting it as like uh, of self-expression and what does it mean to self-express? What does it mean to communicate in a way that yet again, not just communicates or delivers information or a message, but in a way that feels like I am, I am uh, not only I'm hearing the message, but also the messenger. And there's yet again, a dynamism to that self-expression that sort of moves through this period. Um, dear Capricorn, thank you so much for tuning in. And I uh, mentioned as well, the first to the 15th of the month of August readings are now available. You can find those via the links in the bio description box below. Uh, in addition, the 15th to the 31st of the month of August readings are also now available. So if you'd like to take a sort of weekly um, look at these energies and how they move through the month of August, feel free to click through to those readings. And the 15th to the 31st of the month, the protocol will be the same as the last few months have been. And you can access those via the link in the bio description box below. And thank you all so much for your due support with these readings. Love and light to you. And I thank you so much for connecting, for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscriptions. I'm so touched by all of you. Thank you for connecting Capricorn. And I highly recommend as well to check out your rising ascendant or moon sign. So you may find that there's further insights there for you into your situation, whatever it is that you may be sort of um, watching to gain insight uh, into. Nonetheless, uh, Capricorn, I'm hearing making a wish. I'm hearing on the bone. I'm hearing cr a cr crossbone. I'm hearing collarbone here with the star, uh, whatever that may be in particular for you. There could be a focus on assets. I'm hearing finances that speak to um, mother pentacles here coming through as well. What is to be, uh, I'm hearing again as like, I'm hearing communicated, confessed with the ace of swords. What it is that is to be uh, also, um, uh, I'm getting it as like engaged as a, a potential. I'm hearing a possibility into the future. I'm hearing long-term generations to come and there could be focus on energetics and cycles here. Love and light to you Capricorn again. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you soon. Bye.